Hi there, hello. I um, hope you're all okay. Um, I'm totally exhausted here after yesterday. Went out yesterday to, um, to have my blood test and then when I saw my friend Mandy and if um, and um, in the indoor market in Torquay, M Millie Molly Mandy, she's got a little shop in there, well, a huge large shop. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, she has like a craft drop-in um, from 10.30 to 12.30, three quid per person, bring your own little crafty bits like sewing, knitting, um, crocheting, embroidery, anything like that. And, and she's got loads of little bits there as well that, that, that you can buy like ribbons and buttons and things like that to, to add to your crafty things. Um, so Mondays and Wednesdays, 10.30 to 12.30, it's three pound per person, without you get tea, coffee, juice and a biscuit um whatever and um and she's open mondays to saturdays in the shop anyway so in the market so any other time of the week you want to pop in um you know to, to get any crafty bits um to, just go in there and see her she's brilliant and um she is just well she's just wonderful she really is and i spent a, um, a good hour with her yesterday um having a good natter and this video is is um her pos her, her, her advice and um, got really good positive feedback from her saying, you know, so saying I'm really good at what I'm doing, which, which is marvellous. Thank you, Mandy. That was really good. And her suggestion was, which I'm going to do today, was um, five things that make us feel more human. Um, well, well, more feminine. Um, but, but I say more human because it does make you feel more human because um, it's, life is stressful anyway. And some of these things can, can be for for most, if not all of us, um, in, in you know one time or another that, that we can use. Um, of course, um, for trans women, the main thing is really to get decent, what we, what we the oldies call foundation garments, which is like the underwear and everything for, for all you newbies out there. Um, um, like a decent bra, definitely. Um, and especially if you're just starting out, get um, a decent padded bra. Um, because it does take time for the boobs to grow. Um, some of you might be as lucky as I have, uh, as I was, uh, in, in that they started growing in about three weeks, um, started showing in about three weeks. Um, but others might, might take much longer and some might not even grow boobs, but that's okay because you can still have um, implants and everything, you know? So, but in the meantime, get yourself a decent, um, a decent padded bra um, because because the padding will 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 make it look as if you have boobs as well. So which is you know especially especially at the very beginning. Um, right, okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm just exhausted after yesterday. So sort of stuff um, I had to have my blood test after seeing Randy. So um, um, that would take about a week to ten days to um, come back. So just to find out exactly what's wrong with me. So the the, um, the nurse like she she was there going oh she said. Um, First thing was my blood pressure, and then she went for my um, to find my um, pulse, and she couldn't find it. And I was just sat there, and it was funny because I thought, oh, I knew there was something wrong. I said to us, I said they forget they forgot to tell me six years ago that I died, and um, and she couldn't find a vein for for, for the um, to take blood, but but she finally did, and um, you know, so we had a bit of a giggle there, which was nice, and. Um, so and that was done, and then um, I, ha um, I had this notion in my head to get something which was cheaper um, than well, it was less than half. It was more than half price um, for what I, uh, you know, sort of for, for what I normally paid for. It. So I went to the local store um, to, to to find to get it, and they didn't have it there, and they had it everywhere else apart from my local store. So I had to jump on the bus again because I don't drive jump on the bus yet again to go and another two buses to go and get it and um and they only had one so it was really we was really not oh for goodness sake it's cool. and it took me about four hours altogether with all the buses and everything like that to go round and round and round but when the bus driver well all bus drivers are really really were really good bless them you know sort of because i'm i'm i'm, I'm disabled and uh, my left side is a bit weak anyway, so, and my left knee is killing. I can't run. I can't run anyway for the best of the best of times. But um, it actually, you know, for that, and I was tr trying to run for the bus, and the bus driver waited for me, which was lovely of him. Um, 
you know, it's the lapel. Anyway, so that's that's me for you. So yes, so today, and I've got it all written down, Mandy. So yes, yeah, so so I see, I do listen, <laughs> I do listen and get everything written down. So and here we are. He says, right, the first thing actually, you know, there, there are so many. I have to say this: there are so many things that I think that make us feel more feminine, make us feel more girly, make us make us feel more alive, make us feel more awake, make us feel more human. Um, and one of them is, um, well, I've, I've got five here, but there could be like, there's about 500, 5 million, 5,000, you know, so like, could be a, a new dress, a new pair of shoes, whatever, you know, so like, but, but, but I'm, I'm going for the simple things, you know, so after the stresses of, of the day of, of being who you are, who you really are, leave it to me now, please, thank you, no, who you truly are, um, um, you know, because, because life is stressful as it is, but being trans is even more stressful at hand, and we we as trans people, trans women especially, put, put that on ourselves um, because we stress more over what other people might think of us or what, you know, so, so um, and we shouldn't because we should just be us, ourselves and and just live our lives and that's it, you know, so that's about, hey, that's, that, that's a ut utopia, I'm looking for a utopian world, right, anyway, number one I put down here a bubble bath, and I think that is crucial for all of us, or most of us, when we have a stressful day. Um, of a night time, just a couple of candles in the bathroom. Simba, leave a bee, please, thank you. A couple of candles lit in the bathroom, nice, lovely, smelly bubble bath, and just have a good soak and let it all go. Ugh, and really, you know, release all the tension, release all the stress and everything, you know. So we just have to be of an evening, could be in the morning, could be an afternoon. Just have that bath, just, just relax. With, with a glass of Chardonnay, a glass of Chablis, a glass of, um, pardon me, of water or whatever, you know. So and just and just enjoy the moment. And um, you know, it doesn't have to be an expensive. Um, pardon me, I just keep burping. It's like something's repeating. I, I think it's just that moose thing I made earlier. Um, you know, so that it doesn't have to be an expensive bath. It it could be a favourite one from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Asda's or Boots or whatever like that. Um, my one that used to be used to be I, I don't know if they still do it. It's called it was called um, oh gosh what was it called? It was called um, oh, it will come to me. It will come to me and I'll, I'll, um, I will talk about it next time. Um, Boots used to do it, and I don't know if they still do, but I used to buy it, and it was lovely. It was bath oil, and and they had the bubble bath, and and the bath bombs, and everything like that, and it was gorgeous. Another one as well I used to love was the musk from um, from um, 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 um oh, do you know, brain dead today, honestly. Um, and Dewberry, which is another gorgeous perfume, um, um, from that shop, oh, do you know. I have to write the names of these places down, you know, so it really is, um, there we go. Um, right, okay, so like, you know, that's that's number one, bubble bath. Um, go and treat yourself to a lovely, or bath salts even, you know, so whatever you prefer, whatever, whatever your, whatever you want, you know, so just to have that gorgeous bath and stuff, a lie down. And then, when you get out, and this, this, this is a good advice, when you get out, wrap yourself in a warm towel, Wrap your hair up in a warm towel, your head up in a warm towel, wrap your body in a warm towel and then put a dressing gown on and then go and lie on the bed for 20 minutes, half an hour. Don't dry yourself, just just, just, just let the towels and the dressing gown and everything like that um, soak the water because because as soon as you come out of the bath and you start cleaning uh, um, and drying yourself off, your muscles get tense again. So um, in order to have a good relaxing evening, um, just get out of the bath, don't dry yourself, just 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 let yourself drip dry <laughs> hang yourself up on the line <laughs> what are you joking but let yourself just dry off naturally we'll just wrap yourself in a huge bath towel and then with a dressing gown over the top and lie on the bed and do that for half an hour and you'll probably fall asleep or but you'll be nice and relaxed anyway so that's number one uh number two is a body lotion um which, and another thing as well that just makes you makes you feel more alive as well and and more Especially for us boys um, that that are becoming girls, it's like um, us older ones. Like, like our skin are is tougher than, not as soft as as um, women's skin. So you know, a nice body lotion does soften the skin. That is, if you want to go, you know. So you don't have to. 
you know, it's like, just, just be you, and I could keep saying just be you, but body lotion, even just, you know, it's got a little bit, of, you know, a little bit of glimmer to it, you know, so of, of a night time, you just put it all over here on, on your on your decollage and on your arms and whatever, you know, so that just to make you feel more fabulous as well. Right, number three, lipstick and mascara, those two main things as well, to actually make, it doesn't matter what, what else you put on your face, with me, I put a bit of primer, then powder over the top, and then the Lipia Warrior is a bit, bit on the dark side, um, which was okay, but I, I, I was, I, it suited my mood. Um, don't go, don't go too bright, don't go too vivid, especially for the daytime, um, with the lipstick. Just stick to the lipstick that people are wearing, around. like this more, there's nude shades at the moment, it's like, like, like beiges and light brown and chocolatey colours and everything, you know, so which, can look absolutely stunning um, on, on, you know, on the right lip, as it were. And then mascara, which is another thing, is that like mascara, you just you just use it and it just lifts your eye, um, opens your eye up more. So like you know, you get it right into the root and then build it up slowly. And especially if you like with me, if 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 you like me, you wear um, 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 false eyelashes, um, which I do every time I wear makeup. Otherwise, I don't feel dressed without them. It's, it, you know, it's sort of, that's my um, thing of feeling more girly is, is is putting my lashes on when I have got my makeup on. Otherwise, I, otherwise I don't feel too girly. But that's my personal thing. Um, but you know, so I, the lashes on, and I use the mascara to actually get my normal lashes to in, uh, um, to integrate in with the um, with the false lashes, and it looks seamless. And uh, I shouldn't use that word. Somebody else uses that word. Um, John McLean, who 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 is who is a makeup artist in London, and he is amazing. Watch him; he is brilliant. His and his voice is just oh to die for. It, honestly, you know, it's, it just he mesmerizes you and he is wonderful. So, but he he uses that word all the time, and so I won't take that from him. But to actually get um, the lashes to to mix in with, with the false lashes, um, use, the, use a decent mascara, um, not too much because it gets too clumpy, and um, yeah, yeah, that's another thing. And of course, with the lipstick we've spoken about, so go for the color that suits you. Um, you know, over that time, you. You can wear bright red, um, which which can look nice with the, with, with with a dark smoky eye. Um, you know, so um, with me, it's if you wear a lot of colour on your eye, then the lip should be muted. Um, and then if you're not wearing any hardly any colour on your eye, then the lip should be. You know, then you can use the colour. On the, you can't use too much colour, a lot of colour on the eye, and a bold lip. I personally don't think it looks good. I think it looks too garish, too much. Um, so it's just one or the other. It's it's the same as um, with with, with um, home, uh, you know, so in your house. And if you, you know, so if you've got a busy carpet, you're playing curtains. Um, if you have a plain carpet, you have busy curtains. And 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 I've always tried to live by that. And this is I think it's the same with makeup. But then again, what do I know? You know, so I'm just a tranny, and that's it. Um, yes, I can use that word. So whoever's going to be offended by that word, you are not a tranny yourself. So therefore. Don't get offended if I use it because that's who I am. So there you go. All right. So that's told you. Right. Number four is nails. 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 All right. So um, um, like get your nails done. That will make you feel more girly. Get, you know, go to um, go to um, a nail bar and get your nails done. But when I think you have advice, one word of advice is don't get them too long to start with because if you're not used to having long nails, they will be in the way and you won't be able to do anything with your hands, nothing at all. You'll be stabbing yourself, you'll be scratching yourself, you'll be digging holes in clothes, whatever, you know, so especially if you want to wear tights and get these nails and you think, oh my gosh, just get them built, you know, get them longer each time, you know, a little bit longer each time, so, and, and you get used to them. Um, treat yourself to a nail bar. Um, or if you do have long nails yourself, treat yourself to a decent um, nail polish. Um, you know, so like nail varnish. And um, I've got, oh, I have to catch, I've, I've got loads of nail, um, and I hardly use, lot of, you know, I, 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 I do use them, but I do have my favourites. Um, at the moment, at the moment, my, my favourites are blues and lilacs and purples. That's, that's my, that's my colour, the colour du jour at the moment. But um, it's, yes, so, um, 
have have your nail treat yourself to a nail bar um, once in a while and and then go, like like I said you know if you if you do want to end up having long nails um, you know so then get them built up slowly and number five your hair right now that is your crowning glory and um, you see with me I've fallen into the trap as well of having bangs or having a fringe as they say in this country but having bangs um, now apparently I look better with bangs because, because I've got a really high forehead which apparently is uh, a sign of intelligence <laughs> honestly there's a bit oh you know no no intelligence here love just a vacuous space there but um you know, so that um, you don't have to have bangs. Um, have the hairstyle that you want, or if 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 you um, if you're lacking in the hair department, get yourself um, a lovely decent wig. Fork out the money for a decent wig. Um, you know, and have it styled the way you want it, and then send it away once a month to have it washed, or or learn how to wash it yourself, or or find a hairdresser that that, that can do that. Um, but do your research online um, about decent wigs and everything like that and have it cut and styled your way or if you have your own hair like I have you just let it grow and grow and grow I keep I keep um, um, taking end or cutting the ends off my hair which I shouldn't do my mate Gina will go mental bless her but and um, we uh, her and I were sat in, in the local pub one evening having a cup of coffee and a biscuit and um, people were on my diet I was just talking about my hair, and she said, and she said, <laughs> she said, once it grows down to your nipple, she said, we'll, we'll have a party. We'll have a nipple hair nipple party. <laughs> so, and of course, there was a couple um, having their dinner at the next table, and she stopped eating, just went, whoop, and just stared at us like that because she heard the word nipple. Oh, that was quite funny. We were killing ourselves laughing, but. Yes, so um, if you want to grow your hair long, grow your hair long. If it suits you short, a lot of people do suit short hair. Have it short, have it, have it, have have it um, permed, have it curled, have it styled whichever way you want. Have it to a bob, have it long. You know, so that my ideal hairstyle, if 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 um, if I was born female, would be well, hundred hundred times thicker than this, like, like a big bouffant like that, you know, like the 1920s sirens and everything, you know, all waves and everything like that, and glossy and everything, but no, this is me, this is me, this is my hair, all straggly and awful at the moment, even though I washed it yesterday, I haven't washed it today, I don't wash it every day because I think it's just so long, but I do dye it all the time, roots and you're doing again, but um, with me, so like I'm, I'm all for saving money as well. Number one, because I can't afford much. Um, so I, I, I get my hair dyed from Poundland of all places, and and it, as you can see, it comes out quite well. Um, a pound, a pound a carton. It hasn't got much in there. It's just got the hair dye, and that's it in the pair of gloves. Um, there you go. Right. Okay. Back to the nails thing, actually. So that like, um, Amanda and I were talking about yesterday. Um, I don't know if you've noticed in a couple of my uh, videos I, I wear rings like very dazzly rings and everything and they look really expensive I can tell you now they're not expensive they're cocktail rings or dress rings and they cost me about a couple of quid each from China um, um, on eBay and you don't have to fork out um, lots of money to look good and and to make yourself feel good it's like you know it's like if you see something in the shop, you say, "Oh, I like that. Buy it." You know, so if it's if it's going to make you feel good, I'm not so, I'm not condoning like shopaholics and stuff. I'm just um, the, the, um, this is to make thing. You know, to, to do something to make yourself feel better and feel good about yourself. Um, you know, so treat yourself. If it's a cake that you want, if it's a big cake, if it's a big chocolate, triple chocolate gatto cake you want all for yourself, go for it because that's what you want go for it. It's going to make you feel good, feel better and go for it. Don't worry if you're going to cry over it the next day. Don't worry about it. Enjoy the moment and that's that's what life is all about. It's just enjoying the moment, isn't it? So, But anyway, so yes, and I've got it all written down anyway here. So I've, I've done um, I've done everything like bubble bath, body lotion, lipstick, mascara, nail polish, or have them done. Um, I, I, I do my own nails, so um, you know, so they're not very good but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ch I'm, I'm um, basement Betty, that's what I am, basement Betty. And then hair colour, um, cut or style, curl or set, whichever style you want, just go for it. But um, basically look around you and see what's in fashion today and see if that would suit you. Um, same with clothing, same with makeup and everything, you know. So, But um, 
just enjoy, enjoy you, enjoy being you, and treat yourself now and again. And that goes for all of us. All of us should should have a nice treat, you know. Regardless, um, you know, it's like, um, a bit, a, um, a bit of indulgence, you know. So we all need it. We all do um, to make ourselves feel a little bit more human, as it were, um, and a little bit better about ourselves. So anyway, with that, I'm going to go because this video. Oh grief, right, it's 20 minutes long, so but I've got to stop it there because I'm waiting for the delivery anyway. All right, then speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm double figures now. I think I'm uh, on subscribing. I haven't checked it since yesterday. So that's, you know, so thank you all for subscribing and thank you for watching. And please share, um, you know, so if you think there's one person out there, that that will help. There's these these little snippets would, would help. Um, just, just share with them and... Um, you know, so that um, I don't take myself too seriously, um, and that is one thing I suppose you have found um, in these videos. I, I do talk about serious issues um, that I go through and how I deal with them, but um, I'm not a very serious person. Um, you know, if it affects me personally, then I will talk about it. If it doesn't affect me personally, then I still talk about it, but I wouldn't know how to deal with stuff. So. Anyway, so um, if any, any more ideas, um, message me uh, uh, down below or via Messenger or even Twitter. Um, please, please message me. Um, funnily enough, I've um, I've had some guys, I mean guys, um, following me on Twitter, and then as soon as I found out that I'm trans, because I'm all open everywhere anyway, so it's, uh, that I'm trans, they just go. Um, they don't unfollow me straight away, which I think is just, and, and they block me, which I think is just funny. Um, and one of them was, um, 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 he, um, he's famous. Um, he he pressed follow last night, and then this morning he's not following me now. So there you go. But hey, you know, each to their own. And um, I'm not going to lose sleep over it um, because he is a nice guy anyway in real life. Um, you know, but. Um, but um, and and he is famous, so um, I, I I'm not gonna, I'm not going to name and shame him because each to the road, you know. So and and we, you know, so that, and it's our choice who who we like and who we don't like. Um, some people don't like somebody because of the way they look or the way they are or or the way they think, and and some people don't like them because they're assholes. So and I'm an asshole. So there you go. That's me, an asshole. And hey. You don't like assholes? Don't follow. Anyway, look, bye-bye and speak to you soon.